Hello, this is uh, Tom Zepperveld from Graffilion. Today I'm going to show you a completely different demo. It's not that much about graph databases, it's more about uh, building uh, a demo, of, uh, a nice demo uh, using uh, the application is a graph algorithm. And it is about uh, condemnation, so spreading disease or, or uh, pollution in a network. And in this case, I'm going to demo it uh, with a kind of social network. First, what I do, I, uh, I create about 50 agents. These are not nodes in a graph, because they only exist in the visualization. But each node has an own inst is it its own instance and has its own function. So it's more like a kind of a living object. And I built in a timer. That, uh, that simulates uh, contacts between nodes. So when I run this, you can see that, okay, in a random way, every 200 milliseconds, uh, contacts are, uh, are, uh, take place and uh, uh, it is visualized. And after that, uh, the, um, uh, the contact disappears and it's replaced by a new contact. I'm gonna stop this for a moment because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna infect a number of Of agents, but I'm also going to vaccinate a number of agents. And when I now start it again, so the contacts are random, but every time a contaminated um, a node is in contact with a non contaminated and non -vaccina vaccinated uh, node, the disease will spread. So you see that there are new nodes are infected and every time the direction of the contamination is stored in the visualization. So eventually, of course, uh, all the, uh, the uh, non-vaccinated uh, nodes will be uh, contaminated. But what is interesting is that in the visualization, uh, you keep track of, uh, of how the disease spread. I'm going to stop it again. I'm going to Change this a little bit so you can see how it how it spreads. Uh, well, let's run it again. And in the meantime, let's look at uh, at what is uh, how it is done. Uh, I have here my default dashboards. It's one of the dashboards that I have here with a shortcut, and that shortcut. It's called contamination demo. I can style it, so that's why it turns up blue over here. Um, this is an, an iterate function that iterates uh, over uh, over 50, 50 uh, and range of 50, because in the shortcut trigger, I set the, the data, and that data is input for this iteration function. And ev on every iteration, there is an I.O. node that is created. So it has, uh, it has default values, and when it's executing, it executed, this creates the virtual node, because for this network visualization, everything that looks or smells or is, is, looks like a node is presented as a node, and you can update it. So there are different instances of uh, the node. And then when I start it, there is a timer function over here that is set to to every uh, 200, uh, 200 milliseconds, and it, it repeats, and it adds random contacts. I have here a random function in here that says a random uh, instance for the source and the target, and it says the, the contact and in ID or now, and then the next cycle, that one will be uh, removed. So then here I'm going uh, uh, to the contamination, And that depends what uh, what uh, the uh, the source and the target is. And when it is when there is contamination, so when here when the contamination is uh, is uh, is one, then this uh, this relation is added to a network visualization. Then it goes over here. Let's see how far we are here. Yeah. Okay. Well, almost uh, almost all nodes are uh, contaminated. Uh, but finally. Uh, uh, let's be happy that uh, some of those nodes were vaccinated. This was just a short demo. Uh, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned.